Got my breakfast beer on deck. I'm ready to roll, man. What's up, guys? We were out here last night camping. Uh, there was uh, the remnants of tropical depression beta or something like that that came through and hit us by the time we got stuff set up. It got pouring down on us and uh, the only thing really that we were doing was eating and drinking. So uh, we got kind of a late start this morning. I think it's about 9.30. 9:34. Dave got up at like 6 a.m. and took a peek at the water and saw fish were busting but by the time he actually got a fishing pole out maybe about an hour and a half later he wasn't catching anything he was just bang fishing while he was waiting for us to get up uh, but hopefully we're gonna get out there and we're gonna catch some fish I'm looking forward to it this is something I've been wanting to do for a few months now ever since I got into fishing uh, hanging out with a bunch of people that I grew up with and uh, having a good time fishing and camping but hopefully we can put together a good one for you and catch some good fish. fish today. Or we're not gonna catch any fish. That's what's gonna happen. I'm hoping I have a it on frame. We're fishing all day, we're doing a 2v2. It's me and Dave versus Darren and Chris. Winning team. <laughs> not the winning team. And uh, we're pretty much just going with biggest fish. Darren has a fish finder and a scale. I have a fish finder and a scale and uh, we haven't figured out who the what the loser does yet, but we're thinking a, a shotgun of beer and a shot and uh, triple strike, yeah, triple strike. We can't haven't figured out the third thing yet, but uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. You're gonna get spanked. Exactly. We'll see. We'll see. You got numbers. I got size. Okay, I guess I'll give a status update. Uh, we've been fishing for a couple hours now. Um, I think, I guess I'm the only one that's had a bite, but I didn't land the fish. He, uh, he got halfway back to the kayak and jumped off. So nobody's got any fish and I guess I'm the only one with a bite. Um, they're definitely around, they're just, they're just not biting. So we've been out on Main Lake and the only time I got a bite was when I was in just a little inlet. So I'm gonna start just fishing the inlets and uh, hopefully I can like single some out, get some obvious areas. But so far it's uh, wide open. So I'm gonna fish in with the worm and fish out with the jig.
There we go. I got one. Oh! Got it. No. There it is. Got a little guy. I think I have to weigh him. 0.93 Hey Dave See if I can get the release here. There it goes. Point nine three. We're on the board. Okay, let's get some more. I don't know where the big ones are. They're probably out deep, but they're not really eating. Might have had a bite. It was either a nibble or I hit something. I'm gonna throw back out there though. Ah, I'm definitely getting bites. They're little nibbles, so they're little fish. Okay, so a few things happened. Uh, one, all my batteries died. My GoPro died. My phone died. Everything died. So we only kind of caught half the day on film. Um, I caught that one fish, and then it wasn't long after that that it died. I only ended up catching one other fish for the entire day. Uh, I caught a .93 and that was it. And then the other one was like a half pounder. I didn't even bother weighing it. Um, Team Darren, he caught two fish later on, but they were like less than a pound. He said he didn't bother trying to weigh them. Chris ended up getting about a pound fish uh, whenever I tried to record it, or rather, uh, whenever I tried to weigh it. My scale got very wet. And uh, so when I tried to hand it over to Darren to have it weighed on his scale, he had a hold of it. And then when he went to weigh it, he dropped the fish. So unofficially, uh, Chris had the heaviest fish. Officially, I had the heaviest fish. But So we're going to go out again today, and we're not going to be out there for very long, so I should be able to film this entire thing. But yeah, everything died on me last night, so that's something I probably need to get better at doing, is planning for a very long day. Well, I hope I can get all my hooks out without uh, pliers because I just realized I forgot mine. I feel like I need my sunglasses. I left mine. I, I keep everything in that bag because I always bring the bag. Boom. Thanks, bro. No problem. Yeah, this one is here. Yep. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's so much better. <laughs> so today, I think I'm just gonna live and die with a black popper, a 10 inch worm, a crankbait, and a chatterbait. All right, well, it's been about an hour and uh, I don't think any of us are on any fish yet. And uh, it went from kind of chilly to pretty hot pretty quick. The fog's pretty much gone now. Um, we're probably going to fish for another hour, hour and a half, and then pack up and go. Hopefully we can get on a fish before then. But they just don't seem to be biting this weekend. I get you. you got to be careful with, like, algae and stuff like that. Um... I caught just that one fish really. Uh, I had a couple bites. The only thing that they really wanted was the worm. Um, no, no, no. I had uh, I had one on the worm and I had one on the rooster tail spinnerbait. That's right. 
I definitely can take this fall experience and apply it to knowing where to be um, and what to look for. Because thinking back on what was biting and where they were biting at, I should have stayed in the cuts a little bit more and probably stuck with the worm. Um, I think I only got lucky with the rooster tail because I actually saw a fish going after a bait ball. Um, but we had a good time. Uh, first camping trip out with all the friends. Um, had my buddy Chris and Darren from growing up and Chris's dad. It was awesome having him there. And then uh, Darren's buddy Bryson showed up for a little bit of the time, but it was good having him there. Uh, definitely have to do it again in the spring. Uh, hopefully in the spring we pretty much just keep reeling them in. Um, but it was a great time, and there wasn't a whole lot of fish catching, but uh, it'll be something nice for me to look back on. I had a good time. Anyway, thanks for watching.